Welcome to the UAccept training series. In this video, we will go over how to process a transaction. We will demonstrate a transaction from beginning to end and go over adding items to a ticket, modifying and holding a ticket, and accepting different payment types. After logging into your POS device and opening the till, your POS will show this main screen. To begin a transaction, simply begin adding products to the ticket. Select the products category and subcategory and tap the product to add it to the ticket. You can also search for products by name by tapping in the search bar. If the product has size, component or add-on modifiers, the options for each modifier group will display. This allows you to change the item options before it can be added to the ticket. Select the modifiers that apply to this item and tap confirm. The product will appear on the ticket as well as the customer facing display along with the price. Tapping on an item once it's been added to the ticket allows you to modify the item and add notes, change the quantity, apply an item level discount, or remove the item. Keep in mind, the receipt and your journal report will still show items that have been removed. When you have finished modifying an item, press confirm. You may wish to put an order on hold before you finish processing it and begin a different one. For example, if a customer calls and places an order for pickup, you can put an order on hold until they arrive and are ready to pay. To hold a transaction, tap hold. Optionally, you can change the name of the ticket to the customer's name or leave as is. Tap yes. You can hold as many transactions as you need. When you have held transactions, the hold button will say resume. To resume a held transaction, tap resume and select the transaction from the list. This feature is useful for keeping open tabs for multiple customers. Press the discount button to apply a manual or save discount to the entire transaction. The print button allows you to print an itemized bill of this transaction or a kitchen slip. The functions button opens a menu of functions. From here you can cancel this transaction and refund previous transactions. We will go over refunds in a different video. When you are ready to process a transaction, select a payment option. Options include cash, card or check. If you select card, you will be prompted to swipe the customer's credit card or manually enter the customer's credit card number. Please note, you must have a merchant account before you can process credit card transactions. If you select check, simply enter the amount of the check and press enter. If you select cash, the cash drawer will open. Enter the total amount the customer pays and press enter. The POS will display how much change is due to the customer. Once the payment is complete, the receipt will print. You will be prompted with options to print a duplicate receipt, a gift receipt, or to send a digital receipt via email or text. You can select one of these options, or tap close. Now that you have accepted payment and the receipt has been printed or sent digitally, the transaction is complete. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our customer support team, who is here to help you seven days a week. Thank you for choosing UAccept.